I am so proud of this pie. It's a chicken and vegetable filo topped pot pie and it is so delicious. We're gonna start it with some brinjals and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off some of the skin. I'm keeping some of it on because I want texture. So using a veggie peeler, I'm gonna create like, like zebra stripes on the brinjal. Some olive oil. And brinjals are notorious for sucking up olive oil, so use your own judgment. And then mixed herbs. And you're gonna get it with a little bit of spice, which is gonna be our smoked chili flakes. A Little bit of salt, a lot of pepper. Give it all a good toss, and then into the air fryer until it gets nice and charred on the outside, super soft on the inside. And I'm using exactly the same spice mix that I used on the brinjal on the chicken. While the chicken's frying, we're gonna prep the rest of our veggies. Once you've got beautiful color in your chicken, you're gonna go in with some garlic and you're gonna add all your peppers and tomatoes. All those peppers have cooked down, so I'm gonna add some tomato paste now. At home, if you want, use water. I just love the extra depth of chickeny goodness you get when you use chicken stock. This is loaded with vegetables. I'm gonna change the recipe's name to vegetable with some chicken filo pie. So I'm going in with some cream cheese and some parmesan, and that's just gonna make it so thick, so rich, so creamy. That's too much cheese, said no one ever. Before we start working on the pastry, I'm gonna add my brinjals. The heat is off, by the way. I'm gonna fold the brinjals through, and the reason I add it now, I don't wanna smush the brinjals with like all the stirring that happens with the cream cheese and the parmesan cheese. So it's in there, heat is off, mixing it through, and then it's time to start on our pastry. Brushing your pastry with butter is what gives it that beautiful golden color and the serious crunch. Fold over, fold back, and keep on doing that to get like a fan kind of texture. The last thing we do before it goes into the oven is a little bit of time. I just love the way it looks, coming out all toasty and fragrant and delicious. I was not joking. I couldn't have asked for a better consistency of the sauce. It is amazing. Get the recipe, make it, 